Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thanks everyone for tuning in to your weekend tarot. Um, this is intended for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or to the cross watchers who are dealing with a Scorpio. Um, and we're going to be looking at current energy and anything else we need to learn at this present moment. So I'll be using a couple of decks here. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and also signing up to membership. Really does mean a lot. Um, let's jump into the reading for Scorpio and see what we can learn about what's what's coming up around the sign of Scorpio. Okay, I I'm picking up an energy where it's like recovery mode. You're recovering or overcoming an obstacle here. Uh, this might have been a disagreement with your person um, or coming out of a tough time, but I feel like you're reaching a happy medium. This is good. I'm seeing a major improvement coming your way in this relationship. And whatever it was, it was big because it's coming up as the tower card on the reading okay justice finally getting fairness and equality eight of chalices a little bit lost in thought here and the ten of pentacles okay ten of pentacles has come up twice so this is looking promising okay i feel like what has happened here in your love life i don't know if this this was a disagreement an argument a breakup it's something quite big okay it shook up your world made you think or feel differently about love. It made you cut ties with a version of yourself or cut ties with a particular person. This needed to happen because now we can see this, the sky is clearing, okay? Because you were clouded. You didn't see a person for who they were or a relationship for what it really was because you were clouded. Your vision was clouded. Suddenly, however, you're seeing things much more clearly now. Because look, the hangman is reversed. He's coming out. I feel like there's, you're genuinely trying to make a situation better. But I also feel your person is doing the same. I feel like more effort is being made here to improve a connection or to improve on what happened. Okay, the challenges, the obstacles. So I genuinely get that you and another person are trying to make something better regardless of how long you've been connected um and even if it was like a breakup scorpio you are coming out the other side of it a much better person and i don't think it's too late if you want to get back with this person or you you're hopeful that there's a future i think there's potential here um i think you've possibly with the justice card it's libra and energy it's relationship energy You've got Libra Sag. But to be honest, you know, they're riding into the sunset here. So you can have that again in the future. Um, so I get I get this thing. Everything's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to sort itself out. It's a really refreshing kind of energy. Um, and I think it's you're deserving of it. So... To be honest, that justice card, the snake that bites, you know, it's it's karmic. Okay, so it had to happen to you, it had to happen to them because it's a karmic lesson for the both of you. But it's a karmic lesson involving the both of you. So you both had to come together in order for this lesson to be learned. But that doesn't mean you can't reconcile. Because this ten of cups is that riding into the sunset, the temperance is the moderation, this is... Having the honesty to overcome something, having the integrity to overcome something. You've got the marriage and relationship card with the four of wands. This is celebrating love again. Um, I think you're coming out of it. Um, so I, in fact, I want to say, Scorpio, everything's going to be more than fine, more than okay. The way things are looking from this angle, things are looking pretty damn good. Okay, that's a great sign. The flowers are in blossom. There is an opening up. You're creating. There's lots of pentacles here. One, two, three, four. Four pentacle cards. <clears throat> Especially if you're dealing with, a, oh, sorry, five. So if you're dealing with a Taurian, a Capio, or a Virgo, 
they're coming through very strongly. Um, I feel like um, maybe time has had something to do with it. Maybe you needed time, maybe they needed time. I feel like the wait is over if you've sort of been waiting for someone to reach out or waiting for for them to want to restart things. I mean, maybe, maybe this is you. You've sort of given yourself time and you're like, okay, I'm going to see how this relationship goes over the next week or month or whatever it is. And, you know, you want to take it from there. Maybe that's the message the cards are relaying. But I feel like things are looking good and I feel like the progress that's going to be made is going is going to be something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness with this person. I do genuinely see someone cutting ties from a toxic energy. Um, and I feel like it had to come, it had to come to this, you know, for everything to work out, it had to not work out for everything to work out at this point in time. Meaning, translation, things had to go down the way they did in order for things to move forward for you and for them together. So you have to trust you have to trust this process. You're coming up with this two of cup energy. Um, so I feel like these cards are telling me there's, there's, there's a happy result out of chaos, calamity, adversity. Um, there's a happy ending after all, he, um, Scorpio. I was going to call you Taurus then. Um, there's a happy ending after all, and I'm seeing the punishment phase is ending. Okay, so if someone's blocked you, they've removed you, they said they didn't want one thing in their life, they're going to overcome this. They're coming up upright. So that's where they left you hanging, that's where they left you in reverse, and that's where probably you were casted into doubt about this connection. But it's coming up this way. So there's a readiness. Someone's ready to talk again. Someone's ready to compromise on things in a relationship someone's ready to leave behind their past exes addictions toxic ways of dealing in a relationship immature ways of dealing in a connection and there's a readiness that i feel you haven't felt in so long that you're so so deserving of scorpio that is coming your way so um i'm really happy for you i am i really really am um but i'll leave it there Thank you again, everyone, for watching. It really does mean so much to me. Don't forget to drop a like, share, subscribe, um, and sign up for membership for exclusive content. Otherwise, all the best, and until next time, ciao for now.